The topic for today will be external parasites in pigeons and the effective treatment of all parasites. Pigeons in South Africa are susceptible to two or three external parasites. External means it's on top of the pigeon, on the feathers, it's not inside, it's not internal parasites like worms. The two most important ones is the pigeon jockey or pigeon louse fly. It's a fly without wings or with wings it can fly but uh, it does not like to fly. It stays on the back of the pigeon and it transmits malaria to the pigeons. Because malaria is such a difficult disease to eliminate in a loft, it's much better to keep your pigeons free from the louse flies or the jockeys as they are commonly known. The second most important parasite is the feather louse or feather lice. It eats the uh, feathers uh, of pigeons and damage it permanently until the next uh, molting season. There are some mites as well that stays on the feather, can also be a nuisance to pigeons. How do we treat this external parasites? For many years, pigeons were treated with most drastic poisons. The people kill the pigeon just a little bit less than the parasites that they want to kill. And especially your pyrethroid group is irritant to the pigeon's skin. It burns them and it causes them some nerve damage. Pigeons that you've used this products on will always be tripling around in the loft. They can't stand still and pe people always say, yeah, that's a sign that the parasites are climbing off the pigeons now. That's not the truth. Those pigeons are showing early nervous signs of intoxication. We at Breakaway believe in a softer hand. We don't want to use extremely poisonous substances in the pigeons and it is not necessary. The product we're using is called Xeranol Drops. It's most affordable and it's long acting and it's almost non-toxic to pigeons and it will keep jockeys and lice away for six months if you apply it correctly. What we do with this product when we wean the youngsters we put the drop on the back because you don't want them to contract malaria first and then you want to cure the malaria. Prevent them from getting malaria in the first instance. The jockeys won't stay on the pigeons if you've added this onto the back and I'll show you exactly how to do it. They will get onto the bird and they will fly away again. They, will, they won't stay there because what we do here, we also add a repellent with the killing uh, ingredient is also a repellent and it's called as a directant it's made from the neem tree and you'll you'll smell it in this it's also a repellent for the jockeys the correct way to apply this is on the back under the feathers and i'll show you exactly how to do it you take the pigeon in your one hand you pick up the feathers exactly just in front of the oil gland and you add one drop of this product there and you close the feathers again. That's all that's necessary. If you've got too much pigeons, or too many pigeons, and uh, you want to apply this to the bath water, you can do that at two mil per 20 mil liters of water and you uh, let the uh, birds have their Sunday bath in that as well. You can also spray it, the same dilution, and you spray it over your pigeons and over the loft and over the perches. It will keep your loft clean for months and it won't burn the birds at all. It won't intoxicate them. They won't triple around and go stamp their feet and uh, act funny because it's not burning them. It's a safe product. You can treat your baskets, you can treat your loft, you can treat your pigeons with it and it will not harm your pigeons guaranteed. Like all breakaway products, you can have a look on the internet at the website or contact your close, the dealer nearest to you. They will, most people stock it. Uh, the pigeon, Davenis 
also carries the uh, product advertisement where you can get it from. Thank you.